Let me turn from there to our other big story today, really the biggest story of the day. In a sudden move, the Reserve Bank of India has hiked the repo rate by 40 basis points to 4.40%. It's the first hike in 44 months. The central bank has also decided to suck out 87,000 crore rupees from the system by hiking the cash reserve ratio by 50 basis points. These moves will result in higher EMIs but also increased returns on time-tested fixed deposits. The rate hikes are being forced, the, the Reserve Bank says, by the fears of rising inflation. The stock markets, though, crashed on receiving the news of the rate hike. Sensex closing over 1,000 points or 2.3% down uh, as a result of that decision of the Reserve Bank. Listen in to Shakti Kanta Das first, the Reserve Bank of India governor. The sharp acceleration in headline CPI inflation in March 2022 to 7% was propelled in particular by food inflation. The direct impact of increases in domestic pump prices of petroleum products beginning the second fortnight of March is feeding into core inflation prints and is expected to have intensified in April. Food inflation pressures are likely to continue. Food price indices of the Food and Agriculture Organization, that is FAO, and the World Bank touched historical highs in March and remain elevated. That was the Reserve Bank of India. Uh, Governor, remember, all of this comes on the back of... Uh, Fears not just in India but across the world, inflation in the back of the Russia-Ukraine war, global crude prices had risen, but the food basket across the spectrum is showing signs of rising all the time. And that is the real concern at the moment. Given those inflationary pressures, the Reserve Bank of India, after two years, has taken this decision to raise the repo rate. What it will mean for you, of course, is that uh, your EMIs will uh, go up, what it also means, of course, is concerns over what it will do to growth rates, projected growth rates at the moment. It comes at a time when uh, the fears remain that uh, inflation is the biggest challenge facing uh, the economy. Uh, so if you look at those numbers, after a steady decline in the repo rate over the last few years, you've got this first rise that's taken place in the last uh, two years. So that, in a sense, is the concern at the moment.